Hi, Gary from Mr G Shave, uh, back for another Friday shave. Um, yeah, so what are we using today? Uh, I've uh, forgotten. I've forgotten which head shave this is. Let me have a quick look. I, I did look it up before my shower, but let me just have a quick look. It is head shave number 66. Number 66. So there we go. Right. All still a bit wet, but I'm going to wet it down again anyway and put the pre-shave on. Um, I'll go through the hardware first. It's a very basic, back to basic shaves. Um, a friend of mine called Tony from St. John Ambulance, uh, that I used to know from St. John Ambulance, um, asked me a question about post-shave balms for people who shave their domes. Um, because he finds that after he uses an aftershave and a post-shave balm on his dome, his skin feels really tight. Well, the first thing that came to my mind was potentially um, the aftershave that he's using, and I suggested something like Bart's aftershave lotion, which is oil-based. Uh, it doesn't dry out, doesn't tighten the skin so much. Um, and maybe Bart's Balm or Nivea Men um, moisturiser. But today I'm, I'm going with basics. I'm going with real entry level stuff. <clears throat> um, and it's pretty much a boots shave, if I'm honest. Uh, all bar two of the products pretty much are boots. So um, there we go. Or I suppose if you include the brush, that's definitely not boots. But, you know, there we are. Right. Um, so what am I using hardware wise? I'm using my original Razor Rock Plisoft brush. Um, so if you look that up, you can find these online for anywhere. I, I forget. I, I, I forget the price. I'll, I'll probably put it up there if I can find one. But I think that they're, they're really quite cheap. 10, 15 quid. That's all they are. Pounds. Quid is what the, us Brits say for pounds. Um, the razor, there's only two bits of hardware is the Wilkinson Sword Classic. You can get these for about five pounds online on eBay, five to 10 pounds, really cheap and cheerful. I haven't put a blade in yet, so I'm gonna do that now. Uh, what blade am I gonna use? I'm going to use, need to get my glasses on. Wilkinson Sword Stainless. Uh, it's the Gillette Wilkinson Sword. So there we go, I'll just put that on there. It's got the one dot on it. So let's get that in focus. It's got one blue dot down there. Um, and that's a Gillette Wilkinson sword blade on its second use. And these are made in India and are very cheap. This is a two piece razor, so it comes apart like that. You just put, put the blade in and then screw the handle back onto the to the lid and you can see there so you've got the blade either side <clears throat> um, so that's basically the hardware put a bit more spray on the head in preparation for the pre-shave um, the soap that I'm using is pears it, I'm not sure whether it particularly goes with what I've chosen as products but the main thing is just buy a glycerin soap um, you don't have to buy a specific pre-shave. You don't even have to buy pre-shave if I'm honest. I just prefer it. I think it gives a smoother shave and it, it, it does more for the skin if you like. But anyway, so I'm putting this on. So how's everybody's week been? I hope you've all achieved what you set out at the beginning of the week to achieve. Um, a lot of us would have been frustrated, I'm sure, but yeah, you know, such is life. I'm adding a bit more water and then I'm just going to lather this in. You don't need the spray bottle. This is, it's not a gimmick. I actually do find it very useful in shaves, especially with my back. It means I don't have to bend down to do... Uh, put water on my head or anything like that so just cleaning off a 
around the eyes because you don't want to get soap in your eyes. Right, so that's the pre-shave. I've got Boots Cool Cologne Lather Shave Cream. There you go. If I remember correctly, this is slightly mentholated. Um, put my brush in the water. Now, I'm speaking mainly to Tony now, but at the end of the day, for all of you, synthetic is the way to go when you first start out. Don't bother with ball brushes or anything like that unless you know what you're doing because they take a while to wear in and they can actually put you off shaving, uh, you know, put you off using a brush because it takes forever to wear them in. With the synthetic, you just wet and go, you know, no problem at all. Uh, but with a bore or a badger brush, which is very, a bore brush is fairly cheap, badger brushes, you know, can be quite pricey, depending on the quality. But just lather up. There's a scent strength on this. It smells a bit minty. Um, it's got a nice scent to it. But it, the scent strength is only about a 2 out of 10. It's not very strong. Some people prefer that, which is fine. I mean, putting this on my dome, I can't smell it at all. In fact, I'm going to add some water to this because I think it needs some. I can't remember how long I've had this. This, this cream. I've had so many, I've got so many soaps and creams in my den that I, I look, since I've organized my den um, and, and organize all my soaps and creams. I found stuff that I haven't used in years, like this. But this is all very, very basic, very cheap stuff. You're not going to spend a or break the bank to do this. Um, I would say you can probably buy all of this gear for less than £40 um, but it's probably quite a lot less if I'm honest. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll try and work it out and I'll put it up there how much this setup would cost you if I can find these brushes if these are still sold or I'll find something that I recommend. But. Oh, that's great. There's certainly a cooling effect to this. It's not nothing like the, the mentholated effect I got on my lap shave, but it's it's definitely cooling. So here we go. Wilkinson Sword Classic. It's the original classic. If you try and buy the Wilkinson Sword Classic now, you'll get an all metal handle. Um, I actually prefer this to, to the latest version, but you know, that's just me. Main thing is 30 degree angle. This is quite a mild razor, but it's, I wouldn't say it's actually, it's the mildest razor I've got, let's put it that way. I wouldn't say that. Um, I would say it's verging on the medium. Could just be my razor, I don't know. Because I've heard people say it's too mild for them. Yes, it's mild. It's one of the milder razors that I've got, but it's not the mildest. It's, it's got some metal uh, in the handle to give it weight. This is giving me a nice smooth shave.
I can't really feel the blade on this because as I say it is a mild razor but it's as I say it's not the mildest that I've ever used but there we are but it gets the job done might take a bit longer and a few more strokes But I don't mind that. I really don't. Right, that's pass one done. That's with the grain. And this is sort of the travel setup I'd use actually. Um, I hope I didn't get water on that lens then. Um, I wouldn't want to take, you know, too much gear with me. And having hard soaps and things like that whilst you can lather out of the puck I, I tend not to do that I like to try and preserve the dish or the, the puck the, the container I, I rarely go straight out of the puck although I do occasionally um, with some soaps I, I will but for instance um, my Sam, Saponificio Veracino 70th anniversary edition. I I, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't want to really go out of the out of the container with that. But with cream, you just put a toothpaste. If you if you remember the old style toothpaste elongated toothbrushes, manual toothbrushes, and you put a toothpaste on there. That's about the amount that you want um, in terms of the cream. And. Uh, just stick it straight in the middle of your brush and go for it. And as I say, you don't need the pre-shave. I just find the pre-shave leaves the skin feeling better. I, you know, when I do with and without shave, with and without pre-shave, I just think the post-shave feel is better when you've used a pre-shave cream, or pre-shave soap. But each to their own. As the saying goes, your mileage may vary. Right, so I'm going across the grain. You can hear it cutting. It's got some feedback. The main thing to remember is do not apply pressure. Just let the weight of the razors, the head of the razor, do its job. So where if you're using a cartridge razor, you, you're probably quite used to applying pressure with that and, and pushing down. You don't do that with these. If you do that, you'll end up with a bloodbath. But, uh, you know, if you do a three-pass shave like this with a cartridge razor, you will get exactly the same result. Maybe a bit more irritation... Um, maybe a few ingrowing hairs depending if you've got curly hair or whatever but you will get the same result but you'll be paying a fortune for those blades and you're not doing the environment any good at all because they're non-recyclable and the way I look at these multi-blade devices the cartridge razors is it's like putting a cheese grater over your skin. <clears throat> Whereas this is really clean, really efficient, and gets the job done with one blade, not five or three or seven or however many they are now. Um, whether they're heated or vibrating or no idea um, I don't really follow what the cartridge razor companies are doing nowadays I don't want to name them by name because you might end up in trouble but <clears throat> suffice to say the car the, the companies that that I'm talking about are the ones that used to make all the vintage DE razors and I, and, and they now make razors like the one I'm using now so
Uh, yeah. Now I've had a request for a Battle of the Blades. The person that I mentioned, I think, well I mentioned last week, that had asked me and I'd forgotten what they'd asked for. Um, left a message. So it's on Monday, it's going to be a Battle of the Blades between Nayset versus Permasharp. So Nayset versus Permasharp. Um, so you've got that to look forward to. Right, now I'm going against the grain. Ooh, I think I might have just nicked myself there. I've got a spot. I've got something there. You can feel the blade jump over it. Yeah, I have cut myself. Only, only a slight nick, nothing. It's not a bad one. Nothing I'm worried about, it'll have stopped by the time I get to the post shave. So this is against the grain. So what have you all got planned this weekend? Tell me which pub you're going to. <laughs> I go to the Railway Inn. That's my local pub. In my local village. That's where I like to have a drink. And uh, I think it's the first roast dinner of um, the autumn. I mean, in the spring, well, as soon as it gets warm enough, it's all summer food. So if I can't barbecue, then I'll do a rotisserie chicken with salad and new potatoes or something like that. All, all summer stuff, barbecue stuff, burgers, all that kind of stuff. When it starts to cool down like it is now, I tend to... Um, um, Enjoy my roast dinners on a Sunday. It's winter food. Stews. And roast dinners. Moroccan tagines. Um, yeah, all that kind of stuff. I made myself a, a big batch of what I call campsite curry because it originated on a campsite when I used to go camping in a tent years and years ago and it slowly progressed um, to become a family favourite. So mainly vegetables and stuff in there and lots of spices and usually a jar of or paste you know a jar of paste either a, a balti paste or a madras paste or, or something like that um, and then that together with loads of vegetables sweet potato butternut squash peppers mushrooms broccoli and cauliflower uh, florets tomatoes it all goes in loads and loads and then about a kilo of chicken breasts chop, chopped up into inch sized chunks, a couple of tins of tomatoes, that curry paste, just chuck it in and off you go. Oh, I add ginger and garlic, loads of it. Um, but yeah, I love my cooking. Um, all good stuff. So I made a 30 pint pan of that. And then um, obviously ate a load on the night. I'm just doing the pickups. It uh, needs needs a little bit, mainly on the back, so I don't know why I'm lathering the top of my head. <clears throat> I'm only going to be doing the back.
Just no pressure. Missed a whole line there. <laughs> How can you do that in three passes? Miss a straight line, a vertical straight line. That's weird. That's it, BBS. So I'm gonna do my usual thing at this point. I'm gonna clean up and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Here we go, post-shave. Get rid of that plastic bowl. Cold water. Get it nice and cold. That feels great. Now, the cream isn't my favorite, but it gets the job done. It's got slickness, not a huge amount of slickness, not like Taylor Roll Bond Street creams, but it's there. I've just spotted, I've missed a bit. Let's see if I can, oh God. I'm... I'm going to cheat. I've just missed a bit and I've put the blade away and I, just, I can just see it. So I'm actually using a cartridge razor after going against all. I do keep this occasionally, but this blade has been in it, in it for about a year. <laughs> I haven't bought any blades for it. So I still, I just use it for situations like that where I spot that I've missed a little bit just above the ear and I just sort it out. So, as you can see, that bleed or that little neck has stopped, but I'm going to use alum anyway. So let's get a bit more water on. So this is something else to use. If there's someone new to wet shaving or DE shaving, you could use this even if you use a cartridge razor. I can feel that stinging there. It, this is a natural antiseptic and astringent. It's actually advertised as a deodorant, believe it or not. I think I might have done something at the back of my head because that's stung quite a lot. But this will stop minor cuts and abrasions as such. It's great for that. Slight burn, nothing much apart from in the couple of spots where I think, I well certainly, I, I know I cut myself back there and you can see that's red. I don't know whether there's anything on the back of my head, but I didn't see any uh, claret. So when I was washing my head and I didn't feel anything on the back of my head, so I don't know whether I did or not, but it's possible. So here we go. Let's wipe this off. That feels great. That feels really smooth. And then I'm going on with Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel. You probably all knew that was coming when I said it was a Boots shave. So Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel. Slight burn, not much, just a little burn. On with the aftershave, which is Boots Freshwood. Now we're getting into the autumn and winter scents now. Um, slowly converting. Oh, that's 
smells really nice. Really, really nice. And then just to finish off, Boots Freshwood Aftershave Balm. And just put this on my head. And that, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> was a great shave. Absolutely great shave. So that's it from me for today's head shave. I'll be back tomorrow with a, another DE razor or SE. I haven't decided what I'm going to use. Uh, but there we are. So it's bye bye from the Wilkinson Sword Classic Razor. Fantastic, cheap little razor that does a really good job and a budget shave for those just getting back into sort of shaving or into DE shaving. You know, great products, very low price. And as I said, I, I would have put the price up earlier on in the video anyway. So, right, I'll see you all tomorrow for my Saturday shave of the day. Bye now.